Good evening, Carlos. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Fine, and you? Good evening, Mr. Um, Daniel Membreño. How are you? Good evening. Fine. Thanks. Great, great, great. Excellent. So let's see here. Welcome to the class, Carlos and Daniel. So we are just going to, you know, give one or two minutes more to wait for your classmates, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. Thank you, guys. So in, in the meantime, tell me, how was your day, Daniel? Did you have a nice day today? It was um, very tired. Tired. Oh, my God. Tiring. Okay. Yeah. And um, at what time do you stop working? Or do you finish working? Normally, I stop and at um, 4.30. 4 30 p.m. and then you have to go back to your house and go through the traffic right yeah i'm normally 50 minutes to arrive at my house well 50 minutes is not too much so let's say that for example you are at home like around 5 p.m yeah yeah okay not bad not bad great excellent all right thank you for sharing the information all right mr pardo good evening Good evening, teacher. How are um, you? Uh, I'm good. What about you? Fine, teacher. Good. Uh, are you at home or are you on your way home? Yes, I am home, teacher. Okay, great. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, what about you, Noria? Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Hi, thanks. Great, great, great. Excellent. So you didn't join the class last night, right? Yes, teacher. I am uh, sick. Oh, you were sick. All right. Okay. I no have headache. Oh, headache. And, and how do you feel today? Better? Better. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Oh, I can see also Ursula Sally. It's online. Hello, Ursula. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. What about yourself? I'm okay. Thank you. You're okay. Great, great, great. Thank you for um sharing um the information. All right. So well, let's just start right now. Well, everybody, we are going to like start the class right now. So we are just going to um move to the first activity, right? And then your classmates can join the class here. All right. So let's see what's the first thing we have for today, right here, which is a review. Very easy, super easy. Take a look at this one. All right. So it's related to yesterday's class. All right, so we have to match um the numbers on the right. All right, so those ones right here with the letters. Uh, well, sorry, the numbers on the left with the number with the letters on the right. All right, so we have to just read, try to analyze them, and then we can continue and say this one. So we can do this together. No worries. All right, so let's see. Let's start practicing with this one. So we have promotion, promotion is triety, sales promotion, and promotion is triety importance, right? Very similar, but they have something there in common that they can help you to, um, you know, understand what's the meaning right here. Okay, so let's see. Um, I need you to do me a favor, ladies and gentlemen. So who can help me to read? Just read letter A. Who can help me to read that one? Letter A. A. Yeah. It's the plan and tactics to surrounding a product promotion. Surrounding pro a product's promotion. All right. Excellent. Thank you very much. Um, can somebody else help me to read letter B? Just read him. Um, Thank you. It's essential because promotion in the right way to the right people optimizes your time and research. Thank you very much. Just remember that this is optimizes, right? Repeat it. 
optimize. Thank you so much. All right. So, Esteli, you were going to read before, right? Yes. Okay. Can you help me with letter C, please? Okay. Thank you. Involve, involve offering incentive to encourage customers to buy your product. Thank you very much. Excellent. And who can help me with the last one? My teacher. Thank you. Go ahead. Is the act of getting potential customer familiar with your product. Thank you very much. All right. So the answers for those are actually um, in yesterday's classes, right? So let's see. Let's just check right now number one right here. What is going to be number one? It will be A, B, C, or D. What do you think? Mm -hmm. uh, letter B. Letter D. B. Mm -hmm. Promotion. What is promotion? What do you say? Letter? B. D.S. and David? E. A. This one? Yes? A, teacher. No. Okay, so someone has A right here. Okay, so I have two possible options. So now tell me, which is going to be the correct one, A or D? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anybody else who wants to help us with this? Alguien más que nos quiera ayudar? Yes. So let's see. Reina, Henry, Guillermo, Carlos, Daniel. Mm -hmm. No, no idea. Teacher, three is C. Oh, also C. Okay. Uh huh. Sales promotion. So, entonces ya no es este letter D. No, no, teacher. O sea, eh, the third sales promotion is C. Okay. So, you're saying that the third is this one. So, basically, what you're telling me, it's this. Yes. Is that right? It's correct, teacher. Teacher, okay. the, uh, number two is letter B. Number two is letter B. This one. Uh-uh, that's not correct. Uh, number two, letter A, teacher. Yay, that's correct one, all right? What about number one, then? One is B, teacher. One is? B. B, are you sure? For me, it's letter D. That is correct. Oops, one second. And the number four is letter B. Huh? Exactly. There you go. That's the correct one right there. All right. Vamos a ver por qué. Por qué son esas las respuestas. So let's check it out here. All right. Let's see why. So, well, it's this one. It is because of this. Uh, for example, when it says promotion, promotion is nada más a definición uh, the general definition of what is a promotion. Por eso tenemos acá que es el, uh, the action or the act of getting potential customers familiar with your product. All right. So simplemente familiarizar. All right. So un product. So it's just like promoting, promoting, promoting. All right. So there you go. And then, um, for example, yesterday we were talking about... Um, a very common Salvadorian uh, word right now, all right? So, for example, if I was just writing this one, uh -huh, what does it come to your mind? Mm -hmm. Si yo te pongo esa palabra, ¿qué se te viene en la mente? Hello?
Hello, hello. ¿Cuál palabra, teacher? Perdón. In the chat. Do you see it? I don't have idea, teacher. Oh, because you're no Salvadorian, right? So. Pica rico. Okay. What is it? Pica rico. Okay, yeah, exactly. ¿Y de dónde viene esa asociación de la palabra? Eh, con la frase que me acabas de decir, right? It comes from a... Yanira. Eh, Exactly, right? Y eso es una promotion, right? So, sí podría ser una estrategia de venta o una promoción de venta, right? Pero en este caso solamente es una cuestión de promoción, so to promote the product, right? So, entonces, más que vender el producto, lo estamos asociando a algo o a alguien, right? So, which in this case, it's the lady you mentioned before, right? Uh, and everybody knows, right? When you mention this word, la respuesta siempre va a ser, for example, yo digo la palabra y tú dices la frase, like the way you did it, right? La forma que lo hiciste. So, entonces, es esa promotion. Entonces, ¿cuál sería la diferencia de entre promotion and promotion striety? Una promotion striety, it will be, aquí sí ya vamos con una, mira, estrategia. So, that's why we have here a plan. A plan and tactics surrounding, alrededor, alrededor, surrounding of a product's promotion, right? Entonces, sí, estamos promoviendo, pero esto estamos hablando específicamente del plan. You're talking specifically about the plan. Is that clear? It's clear. Yes? Yes, okay. clear. And then we go with the, yeah, we continue with promotions, but we're talking about sales, right? So, aquí sí, this is like involved offering incentives to encourage Customers to buy, aquí sí, mira, to buy your product. Right? Aquí decía, eh, getting potential customers familiar, como familiarizarse con tu producto, pero aquí sí dice, eh, to buy. Right? So aquí la oferta es específicamente to buy a product, para comprar. Right? So that's actually the difference between sales promotion and only promotions. Y por último, we have here the last one, promotion strategy, importance, right? So, o sea, ¿cuál es la importancia de la promotion strategy? Acá de aquí se más que era. Y aquí porque es importante. Y ese es here, it's essential because promoting in the right way, remember, in the right way, en la forma correcta, all right, and to the right people, okay, yes, all right. So it's important when you say like the right people, right? ¿Por qué? Because, for example, no puedo promocionar productos, um, in a, to someone who cannot use them, right? So, and then it optimizes your time and resources. ¿Por qué es esto? For example, imagine que estás promoviendo um, sweaters, sweaters in San Miguel. That's not going to work because San Miguel is so hot. Yes or no? Yes. Okay, excellent. So, hey guys, I have a question for you. All right, so do you have any question? about the vocabulary or the things that we are doing right now? Encourage. Encourage, which is motivar or incentivar. Okay, thank you. All right, very good. Anything else? Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. Teacher. The surrounding is mm, como para la escucha, como tácticas de escucha, sería así. Eh, what is it? I'm sorry. In, in, what, the, what is first, it? in the first A. Letter A. Uh, surrounding. Alrededores? O alrededor? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Okay, excellent. So then uh, let's just continue with this one right here. Oh, any other question about vocabulary? Teacher, encourage, dijiste que era incentivar o que otra? Como incentivar, motivar. Ah, okay, motivar. Yes. Perfect, gracias. You're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome. All right. Okay. Yes. okay. 
All right, let me just open. Let's continue with the next one. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. One second, people. This is just loading right here. Um, okay. Oops. Okay, so now, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to continue here with the topic for today. So the topic for today will be like uh, the process, right? Like the restaurant operation. So we're going to get a little bit of more details about that one, all right? So it says right here, restaurant operations. Three main areas of the restaurant, right? So that we need to actually know or get familiar with, all right? So the first one right here, it's the, the front of the house. In a moment, we are going to see in details what is the front of the house, right? Remember, we are talking about a restaurant, no? Acerca de una, um, de una, um, de una um, how do you say it? Casa de verdad, right? Excuse me, one second right here. Thank you very much. Okay. All right, there you go. Thank you, guys. I was just like closing the window because it's raining cats and dogs here. Okay, so, uh, and then we have like, for example, the back of the house, that's how you call it. And then we have like, we call the office. So, las tres partes de las operaciones de un restaurant that we're going to be talking about today, all right? So, uh, you know, remember yesterday we were talking about like, como promover un producto. In those days before, we have been talking about cómo se crea un menú, cómo se promociona un menú, cómo se agrega un artículo al menú, eh, cómo se promueve o se, um, you know, like se, se venden las ideas de un restaurant, right? And now we're going to see how the restaurant works, how, how it operates, all right? So that's what we're going to be studying tonight, all right? So, eh, vamos a ver entonces, let's see what is the front of the house. So let's see this one right now. Okay, let's see. With this one, we have the following right here. The front of the house. I need someone who can help me with this one. Who's gonna be my volunteer? Hello? May I teach you <clears throat> Yes, please. Let's help me with the first paragraph, my friend here. Okay. <clears throat> The front of the house. The front of the house is the part of the operation with which everyone is familiar because we can see it. We can see it. All right. So good. Excellent. So it is more complex, however, than it appears at first. Uh, can you continue helping me with this one? Okay. The front of the house is at once an operating system, a place of business, and a social state setting. A social uh, stage setting, right? So, entonces, when you're talking about, like, the front of the house, no estamos hablando, like, la parte de frente de una casa, right? Sino uh -huh. que la parte, like, we can see in a restaurant. Understand? Mm -hmm. uh -huh, very good. Excellent. So, like, for example, um, maybe you can see this one uh, here at the bottom. All right. So, this is what we normally see when we go to a restaurant. The tables, the decoration, the lamps, um, etc. Right? So that's gonna be the front of the house. Are we clear with that one, people? Yes. Yes. Ese yes. Front, ese front of the house es como una expresión, ¿sí? That that's correct. That's correct. Right. So we're talking about restaurants, but it's an expression to refer to the part of the restaurant that we can see. You know. Uh, okay. Yes, because for example, when you go to a restaurant, you you don't go to the kitchen. You only go to the tables. Uh -huh. Yes or no? Yes. That's the front of the house, for example. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's see this one right here quickly. All right. Um. Let's just talk now about the responsibilities that they have actually 
in front of the house, all right? Can somebody else help me to read those two paragraphs and then this one? Uh -huh. Two volunteers, please. Who's number one? Nuria, go ahead. Paragraph number one and number two, please. Okay. Uh, respons responsibility. Uh, the key responsi responsibility. Responsibility. Of the responsibility. Mm -hmm. Of the front of the house is guest satisfaction with particular emphasis on personal service. The king of service that shall be delivered uh, has a great deal to do with what they guess one and expects. All right, thank you very much. So we're talking about this one. Remember my friend, this word that I underline here, it's not king, it's kind. Please repeat it, Nuria. Kind. Kind, excellent, all right, so thank you very much. So what is this telling us? So it's telling us that the key, uh, como la key responsibility sería como la responsabilidad clave. Like from the front of the house, it's guest satisfaction. Es la, que es guest, people? Remember what is guest? Mm -hmm. um, invitado. El invitado, exactly, right? So la satisfacción del invitado with particular emphasis on personal service, all right? So, um, oh, personalize the service, right? So, because for example, uh, when you go to a restaurant, like let's say, for example, Pollo Campero, Pizza Hut, or anything like that, uh, you know, Papa John's, or um, let's say, for example, uh, Tony Romans, etc. right? So there is um, a waiter or a waitress, actually, that approaches to your table and says something like, um, oh, yeah, my name is Fulanito, and I will be in charge of your table. Right, so this is a personal service. No va a llegar cualquiera. Eh, uno dejarte un plato, otro dejarte la soda. It's just like you know, one person in charge of your table. That's what it means like that. And this kind of service should be delivered has a great deal to do with the guests wants and expect. All right. So it was este servicio, this type of service. Um, tiene mucho que ver. Has a lot of things to do. Con lo que el cliente quiere y espera, with the customer or the guest wants and expect, all right? So you expect a good service, and uh, that's what the customer wants as well. Thank you, Nuria, for helping me reading. What about number three, the paragraph number three, this one right here? Can someone help me? Maybe, sure. Thank you, Ursula. Go ahead. In a quick service restaurant, you are, for example, guest expect economy and speed service at the counter and so service even to the point of guarding their own use responsible after they are finished eating. All right, thank you very much. I like this one. So let's just go on this one. It says, uh, for example, in a quick service restaurant, all right? Hey, everybody, can you give me an example of a quick service restaurant here in our country? Mm -hmm. Hello. No, teacher. Bueno, eh, sería como el... Los choris? El... Mm, no, because no. it's not a restaurant. Como el... Sería como el auto... Servicio? Uh, no, o sea, that's really a drive-thru. O sea, sería que, que, que hago referencia a lo que es rápido, pero en yeah, un exactly. restaurante no. Yeah, sería entonces como un fast food restaurant, you know? Ajá. Uh -huh. Like, for example, Pizza Hut uh -huh. or... Which one, Ursula? Pollo Campero, Pizza Hut. Pollo Campero, for example. Obviously, uh -huh. y aquí lo dice muy eh, claramente, es una... Es, Speedy service, o sea, un servicio quickly, right? So, exactly, exactly. All right, so, so like, for example, cuando usted va a Pizza Hut, a Pollo Campero, or any restaurant like that, you expect that the like, food is going to be quickly. No espera más de 15 minutes to receive the food, right? 
So uh, that's why that's a quick service restaurant. So basically, the same as a fast food restaurant. Yes, Andre. Oh, no questions, Andre? No, teacher. Oh, okay. All right. So it obviously expect economy, right? So for example, uh, well, nowadays it's not cheap anymore. But do you remember, for example, when Los Econocombos from Burger King cost $2? All right, so for example, that was economy and then speedy service, right? So it was actually something fast for eating. Now, el service continúa siendo speedy, pero ya no está tan economy, All right? So let's see. And then you go on this one right here. Even on the point of discarding their own use disposable after they finish eating, all right? So, incluso, fíjate, en la manera en la que... Eh, se deshace de lo que ya no se comió el cliente, right? So, tiene que ser like in a polite way, all right? So, like, if you want, if you pay attention, for example, eh, cuando recogen los platos, when they pick up eh, the table, right? No empiezan a reunir toda la basura en un solo plato y después la echan. Simplemente, they take the plates, right? They put them y se van hacia adentro y ya hacen todo eso, all right? So, because imagine how uncomfortable it would be, like, in front of you, you know, uh, barriendo el plato ahí, like cleaning the dish, right? So then putting everything in one table, it's not going to be okay. So thank you guys for helping me with this one right here. Questions about vocabulary in this one? No? Counter. Uh, let's see. What is it? Paragraph one, two, or three? Three. Oh, uh, the I'm counter is like... Aha. Uh -huh. The counter would be like to say something similar, like the reception in a restaurant. Ah, okay. All right. So just to 